And we're also now getting some breaking developments coming in. This is the word that's coming in from the government of Gaza, who in fact have now gone on to say that because of this conflict between Israel and Palestine that has now entered day five, they are now facing a humanitarian disaster. The Gaza government as of now also calling on the international community to hold Israel's attacks. The word also coming in from the Gaza government is that the key power plant will in fact stop working within the next few hours because there is just not enough fuel to keep that power plant going. So there is a call that is now being made to the international community at large to try and convince Israel to start to stop their counter offensive because the word coming in from the Gaza government is that we in fact are facing a humanitarian crisis. Let's also now bring in our colleague Siddhant who's joining us on the broadcast. Siddhant, that really is the unfortunate reality of any war, any conflict, which is the human cost, the kind of uh, challenges that people on the ground have to face. The Gaza government now saying that we just don't have enough fuel to keep our key power plant also moving. We have to call on the international community to stop, to ask Israel to stop their attacks. What is the kind of situation on the ground as of now, as far as the Gaza Strip is concerned, for people who are living there? Look, the uh, situation as far as Gaza Strip is concerned is bad. There has been heavy bombarding by Israel. In fact, this morning also we have reported that how al fukran area, uh, the Hamas uh, core area, the hub of Hamas, uh, Hamas uh, 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 terror group, uh, has completely been bombarded by Israeli uh, fighter jets. Now, uh, you know, how this, there has been a change in perception for Gaza uh, is uh, you know, Before this, there used to be some sympathy uh, in people for the people living in Gaza. Strip. But now you see even the America and the other Western powers have taken position against uh, Hamas by saying that they use their own people, children and women as a human shield. So that uh, Israel don't attack them, Israel don't bombard those areas, and they can uh, continue uh, turning that area into 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 their dens, into their uh, you know uh, missile uh, missile developing areas, into 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 uh, so that they can operate successfully from that uh, particular strip. So that is what even the worst Western countries have started accusing Hamas for. That what they do is that first they attack, first they uh, first they get involved in the terrorist uh, uh, activity, and then later what they do is that they start playing victim card by by using their women, children, and 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 you know uh, the common people living in Gaza as a human shield. And this is perhaps the reason that that, that the slightest sympathy that used to exist before has has now uh, gone completely when it comes to the Western powers. Now the government in Gaza is saying, and in fact he has urged the international community to hold Israeli uh, uh, attacks. Even, um, you know, the Spectator Index is reporting that Gaza's government uh, uh, also uh, said uh, that the, the key power plant in Gaza yeah. doesn't have much fuel. Uh, and they require fuel for the uninterrupted electricity in the area. As you know, that this announcement came yesterday only from Israel, that they are going to do the complete blockade in terms of electricity supply, food supply, and water supply hmm. to Gaza. Situation is bad. Yes. The common people in Gaza is suffering because of the actions of Hamas. And that really is the unfortunate uh, reality, Siddhan, that the common man continues to suffer because of the actions of the Kamas militants. Siddhan, we'll have to leave that conversation there. Keep a close eye on all those developments for us.